Hey guys, Rune Kurt here, back with another collection log series video. The goal of this episode is to knock out some more of the easier drops in the Slayer log to make up some lost progress from the time I spent at the Mithril Dragons. I don't want to take up too much time with this intro, so let's get right into it, shall we? Oh, uh, apparently we just got our Mystic Row Bottoms. Uh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Well, we are uh, officially done with Aberrant Spectres. Nice. So, I probably should have went for these black boots back when I was killing the Skeletal and Zombie Hands. Because I didn't realize that these had a unique drop to them. Um, but we're here for the black boots. Uh, I think it said it was a common drop, so this shouldn't take all too long, hopefully. Oh, there we go there? Wait, let me make sure. Um, I mean, the value, yeah. Okay, yeah, th they don't beam, so it was kind of annoying to see that, but okay. Yeah, black boots are done. granite helm coming in i don't know what it is about the granite items but i'm pretty sure that i've been like two or three times the drop rate for every one of them but oh well griffalic wand coming in a little tip for you guys if you come down here turn your brightness up beforehand it was very difficult for me to see Griffalic shield coming in as well. I really don't like these items that don't beam. They're kind of hard for me to tell when they uh, when they show up. But, oh well. And there's the Griffalic orb. We are down to one more item in the Polypore dungeon. Nice. And last but not least, there's the Griffalic Gloves, and we are completely done in the Polypore Dungeon now. Hey, Black Mask coming in. Another helpful tip for you guys, put these things in your Slayer dungeon. They're they're way too spread out in their natural uh, spawn point, but it helps a lot when they're very close together. And there's the Scare Tactics book coming in. So we are now done with these. Moving on. So 
So I kind of forgot that this place actually existed. Um, I didn't know it. All right, there's the Brackish Blade coming in as well. Uh, yeah, I didn't know this place exists anymore. I thought it was just for the anchor. And that was it. And there's our main hand and offhand dragon knives. These are going to be some really quick drops here because I believe they're all common or uncommon, but they should be quick. And there's our dragon warden. Like I said, wasn't gonna wasn't gonna be here for very long, so nice and wrapped up. And Vampire Fang's already coming in. Please don't cringe at how I killed my hills. I haven't, I don't think I've actually ever legitimately done a Slayer task here before. I don't like these at all. <laughs> There's our AVNC Talons coming in. I really hope these drops go quick. I, I don't like being here. Demon Horn coming in. Very happy that this has been a relatively quick grind. I've really only been here for like five minutes, even though it feels like it's been an hour. And we've only got one left to get. So very happy with that. So I did not want to be here for... Alright, there's our Icing Feather. We're going to go ahead and get out of here now because I hate this place. Good to see that the Granite Shield is keeping with the tradition of the Granite items and taking way longer on drop rate to get. That was like two and a half thousand kills. No joke. Please don't make fun of me, but this is the first time I've actually killed Chaos Dwarves. So it took me like 45 minutes just to figure out how to get here. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so word of advice, you're actually supposed to be on the west side of this area to get the hand cannoneers and the ogres. Uh, didn't really know that. Like I said, first time here. I've only been here for like five or ten minutes on the wrong side so it's not a huge deal but just to let you guys know um what that's like a one in 5k chance or something <laughs> what dude i would be out of here in no time i expected to be here for like 10 or 20 hours just to get that pickaxe uh, how many people can say that they've gotten it within, like, 50 kills? Um, please don't hate me. <laughs> that was, uh... <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say, honestly. I really don't. <laughs> this might actually be my new favorite money-making method, honestly. <laughs> Hey, there we go, dude. Finally done here. I mean, I wasn't here long. So I can't really complain. Uh, and I'm kind of glad that the hand cannon shot was my last drop because it doesn't beam. So it actually made it uh, very easy to tell when I got it. So can't complain there. 
I'd have to say I'm more than happy with the results from this episode. We got some big drops finished and are quickly approaching having to start working on some even bigger ones. But with all that being said, let's take a look at the collection log. We're sitting at 945 slots filled now, a whopping 21 slots filled this episode. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below for suggestions or ideas, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later!